What's up guys, today we are gonna discuss work anxiety. It's something that I personally went through this year during this past busy season where I felt like I had so much on my plate sometimes. I was literally waking up in the middle of the night just thinking about all the things I had to get done and everything I had to do. And it, it put me in certain places some days where I just didn't feel productive. I didn't feel like I got done what I needed to get done that day. And there's so many things that I went through this past busy season that I learned that I definitely saw what kind of worked and what didn't and what I implemented and the days that I felt like I absolutely crushed it are what I'm about to go into today. And hopefully <clears throat> you can apply, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully you can apply what, hopefully you can apply what we're going to go through today hopefully make your work life a lot easy a lot easier for you and a lot more enjoyable as you go through it so a lot of the times we have to kind of understand first why we feel anxiety why we feel like so much pressure why we feel so stressed out and a lot of it ends up happening what i've experienced in my own professional life is that you start thinking about everything you need to do and it just becomes a huge mountain that you need to like get across and get over and the problem with that is a project or, or anything you work on, if you look at it holistically, it, it, it's obviously a lot because usually projects you have two, three, four, two months to get through and you start thinking about every single thing that needs to get done and it obviously becomes too much. We're, we're just one person. We only have 24 hours in one day, right? We only have a certain amount of hours we're going to be able to work and through that, you you have a certain, it's, I don't want to say it's an analysis paralysis, but you have a certain paralysis where you just feel so helpless and so you, you have no idea how you're going to be able to get through it. And I actually, I went through that a lot this year where I looked at, I, I started thinking about every project I had going on, every client I had to service, every to-do list I had to do, everything I had to get through. And, and, and certain days I just felt like, man, I, I, how can I do this? I, I can't. Like, I'm just one person. There's no way I'm going to be able to get through everything. And what I'm going to go through today is kind of what, when I look back, I, I feel like it really, really helped me and really put things in perspective for me. And made me have a much more fulfilling and enriching personal and professional life through this past busy season that I went through. <clears throat> so let's go into it. The first thing, <clears throat> what the heck is wrong with this cough? The first thing that I had to do, the first thing that I did this year that really helped me kind of look at, looking back at every week and what weeks really went well for me were the days where I did a Sunday brain dump. And here's exactly that. What it sounds like is exact, exactly what it, what you're going to do. So what I do is I have this, uh, my handy dandy notebook. I absolutely love this freaking notebook. This notebook is like, I think I got it for like $10 on Amazon and, um, it, it just, it's very professional. It's leather. Look at that. It's very chic. Love it. Absolutely. I take it to every client meeting with me and I would literally like what I'm going to do today is actually Sunday and I'm actually making a video that should be up, out next week on how exactly I plan my weeks out to just feel less stress, less anxiety, less, less of a burden on me where I just feel like the things I have to do are just impossible to get through. So the first thing I do, I do a Sunday brain dump where I literally anything, I'm talking about anything that is bothering me. I sit down, I put my noise cancellation Bose headphones on, which, um, yeah, I absolutely love these. I, yeah, these things are kind of messed up already. If you guys could see, they're kind of tore up, but I've had them forever. I've had them for like three, four years. I love them. I put on my Bose headphones and I literally go through and I sit down and during my Sunday brain dump, I just sit down and I think about everything that's stressing me out, anything work related. I kind of break it out in work and personal, but at work, personal and my own person, my own business on the side, I literally just sit down for work perspective. And I, I write down my clients and I ask, okay, what is absolutely need to get out this week? What is just bugging me? What do I go to sleep at night thinking about? What do I wake up in the middle of the night that's just bothering me that I haven't got to and I just haven't done it yet and it continues to make me stressed out and make me feel like I'm just not totally present in my in my work life? I just write it down. I just continue to write down. I just write down. I literally just by myself just write down everything that's bugging me by client, by certain section, by priority. Whatever is bugging me, I just write it down. Things that just need to get done. And then maybe I'll on, my per on a personal side, hey, I need to make sure I can go to the dentist. Hey, I need to make sure I fulfill this appointment. Hey, I need to send out this freaking mailing thing for my rental property. I, I need to do X, Y, Z. Whatever is bugging me that needs to get done, it goes down on my Sunday brain dump. The second thing I do is I use Kanban board, which is kind of like my Pomodoro to-do list that I use kind of every single day. 
And through that, I, once I have my Sunday brain dump, I start kind of fitting them into my calendar. I pull up my calendar and Outlook and I look at, okay, what days do I already have scheduled meetings where I already made a commitment in the prior week? And that'll kind of help me allocate the things that are in my Sunday brain dump and that to-do list uh, or that big to-do list for the week. I kind of start breaking out or doing time blocks in my calendar on things I need to get done. So from the time block, then I look back on my Kanban board that has the actual to-do list of items that need to get done throughout the week. And that way I start kind of planning out what days are realistic. For example, if let's say I, in the prior week, I scheduled a bunch of meetings for Wednesday where like I know, I already know looking at my calendar on Wednesday, I know that six hours of my day, of my work day, are gonna completely go to meetings. And sometimes that happens where I have call after call after meeting after client meeting after I have to meet with my teams. There's just so many calls I have that day. And I would be I would I would be dumb if I didn't if I didn't on Sunday do this, then I would, you know, have these illusions that, man, on Wednesday, I'm gonna freaking have all these calls and then I'm gonna have all these to-do lists and I'm gonna get through everything where if I really audit my to-do list for that day, including my calls and lunch and, and certain things that, you know, little breaks that I take during the day. If I just would factor that in, I'm like, dude, this is going to take me 20 hours during the day. Like, it's just impossible. I, I just can't do that, right? I can't, it's not, first of all, it's not healthy to do that. And it's not, I don't think it's physically possible to be able to do that. So that way I look at my, I look at my outlook calendar and I'm able to assess and re be realistic on the days I can do things. And starting with Sunday, anything that's already planned in already takes priority because I already made a prior commitment to someone or, or a client or somebody that I'm going to be able to talk to you on this day during that time. Then I kind of start allocating times. And then once I kind of make sure that my Sunday brain dump is allocated to each kind of day of the calendar, I obviously leave a little bit of wiggle room each day in case, you know, things pop up during the week. There's always, I always plan for the worst and always make sure that you have, you leave a little bit, maybe an hour or two every day for just fire drills. Things just come up, you know, clients call you out of nowhere. Hey, I did this. I need help with this. Or, Hey, your, your teams are having problems with this. Or, Hey, this comes up or on a personal level, you need to, I don't know, go pick your someone up because their car broke down. Whatever the case may be thing, whatever the worst thing that can happen ends up happening. Uh, so I always kind of plan that for my week also. And I always make sure that I leave a little bit of wiggle room while I'm planning my calendar for the week for just surprises or things that come up. And once I kind of have that all planned out, and I'll, again, I'll go through that in detail once I kind of release that video of how I plan my weeks out in detail using the Kanban board and my Outlook calendar. Once I have my day planned out for a day, let's say today's Sunday night and, tomorrow and, and tomorrow's Monday, I look at my Monday, I have it kind of planned out. And once tomorrow morning hits, I already have a game plan on what I need to do and a realistic one on, okay, I can realistically get to this. And the way I feel that really helped me with my work anxiety is just focusing on what's in front of you. Every day, I, I, you know, every day before I started work, I would literally just tell myself and whether you, you know, believe in God or not, whatever, I would say a little prayer and just be like, hey, you know, um, please God, just help me focus on what's in front of me today. Focus on what's in front of you. Just focus on what is in front of you today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about Wednesday. Don't th worry about Friday. Don't worry about this weekend. Don't worry about what's going to be happening next month or in, in two months. Worry about what is in front of you right now. The task that you assigned yourself when you did your Sunday planning, what needs to get done, absolutely get done today. And again, we were realistic in the timeline that we, that we set for our Monday and the expectation that we set for ourselves and we gave ourselves a little bit of wiggle room, focus on what's in front of you. Most of the time when we feel anxiety, when we feel really stressed, when, when we have these, I guess, panic attacks, so to speak, a lot of it just comes from feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you're not enough, feeling like you can't do what it is that you need to do. And believe me, I went through it myself this year. I, there were so many days where I just had trouble sleeping because I'm like, how the heck am I going to be able to get through this? I'm so behind. I have so many things in my personal life going on, uh, my professional life. There's client work that just needs to get done because certain deadlines. And it got to a point where I just realized that it, it wasn't healthy for me to do this. It was not healthy for me to continue to live like this and continue to be in this perpetual state of being stressed out, of be, feeling like I didn't have enough time to do what I needed to do. And obviously... A lot of it comes in with setting the expectations with your clients, with your with your coworkers, with your team members, with whoever it is that you're working with or working on or, or doing. You need to be realistic and say, hey, look, 
this is what I realistically can get done. And this is what I believe I can do to the best of my ability. And you'd be surprised that more often than not, people are very receptive to that. People actually accept it. Obviously, the conversation is very difficult to have, but it's warranted and it's better for you to have it up front than you over promise and under deliver and people expect certain things of you and you don't end up delivering because you're just super stressed out and so overwhelmed and you just feel like, Man, I might as well just watch Netflix because I just can't get this done. It's just, it's just not possible. And focusing on what's in front of me, it, and literally, I'm talking when I tell you focus on what's in front of me, I got to a point where I would set myself, hey, for this next hour, I'm going to work on reviewing this or I'm going to work on preparing this or I'm going to work on preparing this proposal or this budget or this presentation for a client and literally break it down hour by hour, minute by minute. 30 minutes by 30 minutes. That, that's literally how I do it. Um, when I tend to feel really, really stressed out and I feel overwhelmed, like I just, I have so much on my plate and I feel like that's really been the anecdote that, I, that I've got through this year that really helped me and I plan to, and again, sometimes you get busy and it's hard for you to sun, do a Sunday brain dump and really plan everything out and focus on what's in front of you because you know, you get busy with personal life, but I highly recommend, I think planning for the week is, is one of the most critical things, especially as a young professional, even as a, as a, as a senior professional, being able to plan out where, knowing exactly where you need to be, planning out your days, not overwhelming yourself, not over committing. I really think, and then once you get to each and every day and you wake up and you know exactly what you need to do, focusing on what needs to get done in that hour, in that two hours, in that half day, focusing on what needs to get, what needs to get done by lunchtime, by the time you go to bed, I promise you, you're going to have a much more enriching and ex professional experience at work and you're going to end up resenting your coworkers a lot less, resenting your clients, resenting yourself, feeling much better about yourself when you are realistic and you focus on what's in front of you and you don't worry about whatever tomorrow comes, let tomorrow bring whatever it may bring. But today, focus on what you can do today and I promise you, you will be much better off. All right, guys, if you found value in this video, please make sure to smash the like button below. Until next time, work hard, dress well. Peace.